The following is a production of 10 Ply Media. Hey everyone and welcome to the Couch Thoughts Podcast. Actually live from a couch uh, this week. I went and uh, bought a new couch. So we, we are... We are Couching on the Couch Thoughts podcast. On the couch. <laughs> anyway, I'm Rocky Persinger. With me, Brent Pickens. What's up, Brent? How you doing, Rock? All right, man. Um, so we got we got a pretty good show coming up this week. Uh, we are going to talk about, in honor of the Creed Two trailer dropping uh, this week, we are going to talk about the entire series of films in the Rocky franchise. Uh, so uh, before we get to that, though. Um, we're going to do a little segment at the top of the show now, I think, is, uh, you know, we're, we're a video, we're a video game and movie podcast, any, also anything else we want to throw in, but mainly video game and movies. So, um, so Brent, what have, what have you been playing this week? Well, I'm back on the, uh, the fallout four kick. Yeah. Which uh, I started him on that. He start, okay. This, this, is, I'm over here. We're over here last week and on his monitor, he just leaves up fallout four. And and then and then that planted the seed. So I'm like, ah, damn it! I, I gave up on. Maybe I just quit on it too early. And I, I also quit on it because I got to like level forty, and uh, just there was so it was so overwhelming. There's so many missions. It, it's such a huge game. Well, I made a mistake and traded it in because I'm a broke ass, and that's the only way I can get anything. <laughs> so. After I let, after the podcast was over, I roll over to GameStop because I'm gonna get the Game of the Year edition. Well, get there, they're like, oh well, we sold them all out because there's, I guess everybody's excited for Fallout 76. Yeah, and that's why I got back into Fallout 4 was Fallout 76. And all of them were sold out, so I got on GameStop.com and or and, and bought one, and instead of thirty nine dollars, I ended up paying sixty for oh. the damn thing. So I'm hundred and twenty dollars invested right now. Oh boy! So, but I'm back <laughs> on it. I'm I'm having a, I'm having a ball with it. I yeah, I do love the game. You know, I did beat Fallout for, Fallout Three. I never beat New Vegas. I don't think it's possible. Well, it everybody <laughs> turns against you, and the same thing happens in Fallout Four. You get the different factions; they turn against you. But um, you know, it, it is just a great game with so many. It, it's really messed up what happens in the game. Because it's uh, not to spoil anything, which it's an old game now, but you know they uh, you get frozen in a vault, and then this this dude comes rolling in there and kills your wife and takes your son. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. So, um, but the, it, it's it's a great game, you know. Uh, so we're we're revisiting Fallout Four in preparation for Fallout Seventy Six since it's in our home state of West Virginia. Oh yeah, uh, it is online. We're still not sure how we feel about online. Yeah, but I, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. I, it, it, the only thing, the online, you know, it, it not being, uh, really having a single player campaign. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting back in the groove on Fallout 4. Well, that's so cool. I'm, that's cool. Yeah, so we're, we're both playing that this week. That's yep. that's what we're playing. Uh, so before the podcast started, Brent, we were also talking about uh, Ready Player One. Yes, yes, that. And if you get a chance, that that I have, you know, when it showed the preview at first, I was like, I don't know, you know, but and there's so much action in that movie, and and so much stuff that takes you back to your childhood. You know, you're seeing, you know, the the DeLorean from Back to the Future's in it. Uh, at one point, Chucky's in it, you know, yeah, yeah. and big, you know, the, the monster truck Bigfoot's in it. It, I don't know, at the beginning when the, that race, you know, there's all yeah, those different, you, yeah. know, you know, cars and yeah, and then and, you've got the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, King Kong is in there. Yeah. Uh, you've got the Mecha Godzilla was awesome. That's kind of a surprise. It shows up the Iron Giant. Iron Giant. Uh, but yeah, that, just all this cool stuff. There was a Gundam in there for I was telling Brent for people who like Japanese anime uh, that watch Gundam Wing back in the day on Toonami. Um, there's a lot of cool references, and it's actually based on a book. Uh, so Ready Player One was a book before it became a movie, huh. and uh, I haven't read the book, but I hear there's a lot more stuff packed in. You know, like there usually is with the book, there's yeah. more stuff kind of packed into it. Um, 
But yeah, we, we highly recommend Ready Player One. That kind of combines yeah. video games and movies. It does. And I, I, I would like to see him do more of this kind of a movie, you know, because, yeah. like, I mean, it, it was really interesting. It was a, it's a real good watch. I mm-hmm. mean, it, if, you, if you have time, you ought to sit down and check it out. It, it's a real good movie. Yeah, guys, so that's we're playing Fallout 4 this week. We watch Ready Player One. Uh, strongly recommend both of them. Yep. So uh, if you haven't seen either of those, go out and see them. Also, Mario, Ten- Mario Aces. Mario Tennis Aces, Aces came out. Brent uh, purchased it. I did not yet. Yeah, it, it just came out uh, as of recording yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. 22nd. Yep. Yeah. It, uh, from what I played of it, I, I haven't played a whole lot. You know, I got home late, but... Uh, I, I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, it looks like it's going it, to... It, it's a really good game so well, far. Yeah, and I, I might... Uh, I do. My Switch has been kind of getting a little dusty here lately. Well, Hunter never leaves ours alone, so... Yeah, Brent's son never uh, <laughs> never puts the Switch down. And that's who it's for. But, you know, I love uh, Zelda and I love Mario. Um, and I, I also love that um, Mario versus Rabbids Kingdom Battle yeah. or something, that game. Yeah. That was a cool game. Um, but yeah, Mario Tennis Aces, that's a must buy. I'm also yeah. hoping that they'll, uh, bring back Mario Golf, which I know, Brent, you, you didn't mess with the 64 very much. Not, not very much. Uh, when I got it, it was later and, uh, you know, I was, the main reason I got it was for Perfect Dark. Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I, I didn't, you know, I kind of missed out on a lot when it came to uh, the Mario games and, uh, you know, that came on the 64. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Mario Golf was great. Mario Tennis, um, you know they they're coming out with a new Mario Party. They yeah. did announce that at E3. That was yeah. one thing. I think we forgot to mention that last week. Like they, we they're did. coming out with a new uh, Mario Party. But uh, I love my Switch. I think it's a great system, and for how portable it is, the graphics are pretty darn good. Oh yeah, they're impressive. It- I don't know. I just love you know if, if if my wife or something has the TV, you know, I, I if I can get prop from Hunter's hands, you know, I <laughs> yeah. can sit there and, and play it, you know. Yeah, and that's that's uh, that's the big thing with me because I don't have to tie up uh, the TV if my wife wants to watch uh, her shows or anything. So uh, that is one great thing about the the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I'm a I'm a real big fan of the Switch and, and what they've done. You know, yeah. I'd like to. You know, hopefully they uh, they come out with some you know more games for it. I, I thought they'd be a little bit more out by now. But yeah, you know, but they they hit so big with Zelda and Mario. Yeah. I don't know if they really need to. Right. And I, I want to try the Donkey Kong, the tropical, tropical, air, which was, was tropical freeze, which tropical was a freeze. that was a port of a Wii U game. So oh, really? it was on the Wii U. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so all the cool games on Wii U they've ported over to Switch so far, besides uh, the Mario Maker game, which I really hope they port Mario Maker over to Switch. Which I didn't know if you knew what that uh-uh. was. No, I it's um, it's a Mario game where you build your own levels. Oh, really? Yeah, and you can you can choose the graphics between like the original Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Two, Super Mario Brothers Three, or Super Mario World. Oh, wow. And you can create the levels um, based on those graphic sets and those games. And then, uh, you know, you can connect online and download other people's levels. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And when you create a level, you have to be able to beat the level before you can upload it. Okay. So if you well, you create neat. you create a level, if you can't beat it, if it's like impossible, you can't upload it because you got to beat the level first before you can upload it. So that's that's a smart oh, yeah. idea. Oh, yeah. That's real neat. But... Yeah. Yeah. So I really hope they port that over because um, I never got the, I never owned a Wii U. I, I have the Wii. I got it later because yeah. I, I I thought it was a little bit of a gimmick. Yeah. And we, we weren't really a big fan of the motion controls. No. No. We Even with the, you know, the, the, you know, the headset you put on, the, I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I never was big on those. Yeah, Plus, VR. I, yeah, the VR. I'm sorry. They're they're kind of abandoned in VR. Yeah, I don't know. They they put some games out and then. Uh, yeah, it they, hasn't been much. They haven't really talked about them much, so I don't know if. Yeah, I, I think it just the technology costs too much right now. Yeah. You can't. I mean, I'm not going to go spend four hundred dollars on a damn VR set when I've already spent that much on a PlayStation. Yeah. 
Same reason I'm not going to buy a PlayStation 4 Pro. That yeah, that's, you know, because I just I don't I don't care about it. So um, so anyways, guys, that's you know that's what we've been playing this week. So now we're going to uh, we're going to do our first uh, movie show of this. We've done a couple video game shows so far. Uh, so first off, the Creed Two trailer dropped uh, this week. And uh, so, Brent, what what did you think of the Creed I, Two trailer? I think it looks really good. It, uh, I mean, of course, you know what I think is going to happen in the movie. It, it, it may not happen, but I I really think uh, I think it's going to be a good a good watch. And I, I I liked how at the end, you know, it didn't really show it, but then at the end of it, you know, you see Drago on yeah, the back yeah, of which his, for uh, for his those robe. for those that don't know, it's um, Apollo Creed's son. Adonis is going to fight Ivan Drago's son, you know, for Ivan Drago from Rocky IV. Uh, so that worries me a little bit, actually. That whole setup, because they, there's so many ways they could go with it. They could go. There's so many ways they could go wrong with it too. Yes. Yeah. So that that's what I'm worried about. Well, is. I think your outcome is possible. What I'm thinking, I'm thinking Drago's son. Kills uh, kills Apollo's son. Now I'm, I'm going with it. That's could, the most could ridiculous. You, thing. Could you imagine being in the theater though? Uh, the shock, the 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 all factor would be <laughs> when they kill Michael the, B. Jordan. Yes, when they just kill him off. Oh my God! The movie is called Creed. I know. That's that's the irony of it. Oh my God! <laughs> that's the irony. That's of right. It. Irony of it. That's oh right. my God! You heard God. it here. I'm calling it right now. That's what's happening. So here's what I think is going to happen. I think it's more likely. Okay. <laughs> I think that um, there's going to be a fight in the beginning, hmm. and uh, uh, Creed is going to fight Drago in the beginning of the movie, much like Rocky IV, mm-hmm. or much like a Rocky III, where you know uh, he man. fought Clubber Lang the first time, and he got his ass kicked because yep. that kid's hungry. He's got died a tiger kid. You haven't had it in years, Rock. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you haven't had it for years, kid. Um, so I think Drago's going to be hungry uh, because of the steroids. And then um, he's going to kick the crap out of Creed. And then Rocky's going to be in the corner, even though he's had cancer and all this shit. He's going to be in the corner and... Uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna have flashbacks of not throwing in the towel, yeah. right? Well, then he's gonna throw in the towel, but then Drago doesn't stop, right? So yeah. he's like kicking the crap out of Creed. Creed's about ready to die. Rocky gets in the ring, in between the two of them, gets punched in the back of the head and dies. It's dark. I I they they they've been hinting that they're gonna kill Rocky off in Creed. Yep. You know, um, I could see something like that happening. Uh, I mean, Rocky's had a good run. <laughs> he has had a, a a damn good run, <laughs> but I just, I mean, I don't know it. Since nineteen seventy six, well, that's a pretty damn good run. run. Which is what well, you know, Rocky won won Best Picture in nineteen seventy six. See, uh, there's just so many. There's so many different ways they could go with it. Yep. And I mean, I. I I could see something like that happening because I think Rocky feel you know I know he feels responsible for Apollo's you know uh, for Apollo's death. Yep. For not throwing not in throwing in the towel. So that's why I think he's going to be really like he's going to throw it in early this time. You know, uh, just so it won't happen again. But then, but then part of me wonders if if it it's kind of set up like uh, what happened to Apollo. Like, like, for some reason, Rocky was like, I, I got to get back in the ring. <laughs> well, see, that would just be, that's what I'm afraid they'll do. Yeah. That's how they're going to ruin He gets in. Rocky's going to fight Drago's son? Or is he going to fight Drago, do you think? Like, how sweet would it be if, Dra- if Dra- Drago was in this? They're going to have work. Drago's in it. They oh, already signed him. Is yeah, They already signed him. Oh, okay. He, he, Dolph Lundgren is in the movie. So, um, yeah, they already signed him. So, they're going to have words. Oh, yes. Words are going to be... I mean, it might be three words on Ivan Drago's part, but there's going to be words. <laughs> I mean, knocked him down. 
John Amiga. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just mixing up all the movies. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so I'm going to kind of go backwards here. So what Creed 2 is coming out. What did you think of Creed? I like Creed. I love Creed. It was a di- it was a different take, and uh, I I really liked it. I'm gonna say some controversial stuff here. I think it's the third best Rocky movie. The third. Well, it might might be second though. Second might be second. I I'm Creed yeah, and you, you can't put it above four. Creed and four are tied for me. No, no, hell no. Rocky one is the best one. See, see, this goes back. I, it, it, okay, I'll, I'll go with you as, as, as it being the best since it was the first one. Yep, yep. But I... I put Creed up there with... I love Creed. I think it's a great movie. The uh, You know, Sylvester Sloan damn near won an Academy Award before he got robbed, uh, you know, at the, at the Oscars. So I, I think he should have won the Academy Award that year for Best Supporting Actor. Because he supported the hell out of that movie. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I mean, now it wasn't quite like the you know the speech in Rocky Balboa. No, you know that was a hell of a speech. It was. You know, yeah. it's not about getting knocked out, uh, getting hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and get back up. So that, that, uh, that that's a great speech. That is a great that's speech. That's one of the all time great movie speeches. Yeah, right there. that's But I really like Creed. I thought they did a good job with Michael B. Jordan coming in as I guess it's Creed's bastard son. Yeah. You know, that uh he had with someone who wasn't his wife and then the kid ended up in, you know, foster care and stuff like that. Came came up, he was hungry, he got in touch with Rocky because, you know, he knew his his father and stuff and and I like that he tried to, uh, you know, make his own name for himself and not adopt yeah, the Creed this. name at first. So I thought it was a really good movie. I, I like the way they did it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, you, you get worried when they, you, you hear they're doing these movies because you don't know how they're going to do it. You, you, you're scared, you know. You, growing up, you watched them do it a certain way, and you don't want to see them screw yeah. up the whole, you know, by doing it. And I was worried when, when I heard they were doing a Creed movie. At first. Right, yeah. And then, you know, it took me a while. I didn't get to go to the theater and watch it. And, you know, time passed. And But when I actually watched it, I think it was last year sometime. And, I mean, it, it, it was a really good movie. Yeah, which and, I, I saw it first. And I was like, you got to watch this, yeah. man, because it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't. I, I don't know. I, I'd probably give it third. The uh, It'd probably you be my third. third. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um... So yeah, Creed was was really good. Looking forward to Creed two. The trailer dropped this week. It's only a couple minute trailer, but you see, you know, you, you see Creed going through some stuff. I guess he's got a a, a baby now yeah. with the girl from the first movie. And uh, see, I kind of wondered if that's going to play a part too, because she's worried about him. Yeah, because I'm you know the way his dad went out, and I don't yeah. think he wants to go out the same way his dad did. So I wonder if he feels like he. You know, he climbed to the top. Now he's got everything to lose, you know? Yeah, you know, but, he, you he, know... He, he had that drive in the first one. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering if it's not going to be like a Rocky three, you know, kind of how he lost, you know... Yeah, but he, he still hasn't won a title yet, though. Yeah, that's true. So, And this isn't going to be about the title. It's just... He, said, he says in the trailer, I want to rewrite history. Yeah. You know, so... But then uh, Apollo's wife is like, don't pretend this is about your father. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's, it, she's kind of saying that he's being selfish by fighting this machine of uh, Ivan Drago. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you've got Trump for the U.S. now and Putin, right? <laughs> In the 80s, you know, they, they, they had uh, Reagan and whoever the hell the leader of Russia was. Yeah. I don't even know. But, you know, it was the Cold War back then. Yeah. These days, Trump's kind of friendly with Putin, so I, I don't know. We're kind of friendly with Russia. Yeah. It's an uneasy friendliness, but we're friendly with <laughs> Russia. So, you know, maybe Ivan Drago has come to America. He's learned some English this time. You know, If I could change. <laughs> if I could change. 
And you can change. Everybody can change. So, uh, from Rocky IV there. Yeah, um, that... Uh, so you know, I, I think he's because Dolph Lundgren has learned some some pretty. Good, his English is not terrible. No, if you look at the Expendables movies. Yeah, another good series that I like. Yeah, the Expendables. the Expendables. Yeah, Stallone tried to bring back the action superstar. Yeah, uh, which I I don't know. I think the last good one has been like Jason Statham. Yeah. Like that's the last good right. action star that's been. There's not a lot of them. Maybe Tom Hardy now or. He yeah. does a lot more actory stuff, but yeah. um, you know Stallone, Rocky, and Rambo is back in his heyday. Yep. You know, but um, before that, he was a struggling actor. Oh yeah. Um, well, with, with the Rocky thing, he wrote it, and he he was trying. You know, uh, he sold it. Well, they were, he was wanting to sell. They were it, wanting to sell it, but they didn't want him as the actor. You know, and I mean, this is like he's homeless. You know, he's starving. He. And, he does a couple like soft core porn movies yep. because he can't get any work in Hollywood. Well, they, they offer him 75,000 or something, for something the like that. They offered him like $75,000 for the script for Rocky, but he wanted to star in it. And then they came back and offered him like one fifty or something. I just don't know how you're living on the street. You have this script that you wrote. Yep. You're, 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 you're starving and you don't sell it. And, he I mean, just if, believed if, in if he would have sold it, we wouldn't even be talking about this right now, possibly. We, we, Stallone would have never got a break. Yeah, so that right there kind of makes you, you know, that that takes some guts to to not sell. Yep. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's... Oh, it, I mean, it's it's crazy. He just really believed in the movie, though, you know, and um, with, with good reason. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a great movie. So what I've got here, just for everybody listening... I've got my uh, Rock, uh, Rocky Special Edition DVD box set here that I've had for years. I don't even know when this came out, but I've had it. Um, I've had it for years uh, since it came out, probably 2001. <laughs> so I've had it for you know 17, 17 years now. Years. <laughs> uh, but uh, I love the Rocky movies. These DVDs are worn out, <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, so I've got Rocky one here in my hands. Um, so we're just going to go through them one by one, all the, all the Rocky movies. So Rocky one, like we just said, he, you know, he, he's starving. He doesn't sell the script as his first offer. So then they give him like next to no money to star in it. Right. So then he stars in it and he's going to, you know, he's going to make his big break. So the reason I think the movie works so well is is Rocky is a out of work struggling boxer, which he's not out of work. He works at the docks for the uh, the mob. Yeah, he's, he's uh, he goes and collects the money. Right, but Stallone, you know, is an out of work struggling actor. This guy's an out of work struggling boxer. So they're both hungry, and you can really tell that Stallone, you know, wants you know to to make something out of himself in this movie. Yeah, and also the you know the fears that come along with that of doubting yourself and 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 everything like that. Um, but you know, so even how the movie starts out, it's uh, you know he's in this dirty boxing ring that is in some. It, it looks like a church. Yeah, in, in Philadelphia, uh, Rocky, of course, from Philadelphia, and he's fighting Spider Rico, <laughs> who comes back in Rocky Balboa. Uh, eating at his restaurant, if you'll remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Spider Spider Rico is the same actor that played Spider Rico in the, in '76 as well. Um, so, so yeah, uh, you know he's fight, and he gets beat up, and he's like, you know, when's my next fight? And he's like, I can come back next week. You know, so he's fighting like once a week, which is just ridiculous to do. Yeah, you know. Um, and then he goes back to his rundown, crappy apartment. Uh, so it's just, it really, it's a good picture of somebody who's struggling and, and, and coming up, you know, trying to find a way to make it, you know, get, just get a shot. Yeah. And it, it's a, it's a character who's just never been really given a shot. And I, I think a lot of people can relate to that, you yeah. know, cause everybody's kind of, um, with the exception of very few people, uh, you know, nobody ever really gets their big break. Yep. 
you know, and people are, people are out there, they're struggling. So it's really cool, you know, and, and you see that, uh, you know, he goes to the gym, his locker, they took his locker, they put him on skid row. Yep. Uh, you know, that's where we meet Mickey. Uh, you know, he threw his crap out of there. Uh, Mickey calls him a bum. Calls him a bum a couple times. Calls him a bum, which you know that it's just a that's a fun. It's funny because it's like uh, my dad always says, like that's the ultimate insult in in Philadelphia or something. <laughs> you bum. Uh, but yeah, you know. So I you, I just love the visual of it. Yeah, the whole visual of this crappy, rundown world that he lives in. You know. And then, you know, the only bright light of it that he has in it is going home, uh, walking past the pet store and going in and talk to this really shy girl um, that, you know, eventually we find out is Adrian. Um, Fun fact, the dog that he was looking at in the pet store is his actual dog. I didn't know that. It's his (laughs) actual dog. And um, he actually... He was so hungry, he sold that dog to, to to pay for food. Oh, man. He sold that dog. And then, because he signed the deal to, to a star in Rocky, he went and bought the dog back. <laughs> so, you know, and he's he wants this dog. It's a, it's part of the story. He wants this dog in the story, because, yeah. and he, but he doesn't have enough money to buy him, yeah. you know. And eventually... You know, I think it's in Rocky Two that Adrian buys it for him. You know, buys buys the dog for him. But, um, you know, I, I don't even remember. Do you remember the first time you saw Rocky? I I have I, no idea. I don't. I I mean, it, I had to be I, I had to be pretty young because you know just the themes. I just remember you know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The, the theme song is yeah. da 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 da, and that that. I forgot, you know, the opening credits that the, uh, the big, uh, it's a black screen and then the big white letters that say Rocky come across, yeah. um, that, that, that's really cool how that sets oh, up. Oh yeah. Too, you know, um, but yeah, you know, I, I just love the movie uh, underdog story and you got to love Stallone. You have to, <laughs> who, who doesn't love Stallone? <laughs> you know, I mean, he, he just. Uh, he's just a lovable guy. He does get a little rapey on Adrian in this movie. Yeah, that that, that was a little uncomfortable. It was an uncomfortable scene. But there's just so many classic, you know, iconic things that come out of this movie. Yeah. You know, Uh, just the characters, Rocky, Mickey, Polly, Adrian. Which, Polly's Adrian's brother. uh, And that's kind of how Rocky uh, gets gets uh to know her is, is through through polly and i think that's the only reason he really gives a shit about polly uh, i think I, I don't understand why polly's such a big dick to adrian he, he polly was... is a huge dick man like rocky comes over to the house the first time yeah he's just and yelling he, and cussing he, he, he's yelling and cussing like i mean i if it was real life he'd probably be hitting her you know <laughs> i i but and then you know she's it's thanksgiving when they're trying to go out on a date and he takes the turkey and Chucks it out the window. After she was cooking it, I mean, he... That was hard to watch. Yeah, well, yeah. It was... <laughs> that was just hard to watch. He's sitting there, and he's like, You hungry, Rock? And he's got the turkey leg and all this shit. And, um, you know, finally, though, at the end of the movie, Adrian stands up to him. And, yeah. You know, because she... By getting to know Rocky, she comes out of her shell a lot, you know. Um, so then, you know, you have that whole sub-story there. And then kind of out of the blue, Apollo Creed, yep. uh, you know, comes along. Uh, and, yeah, you know, uh, which he's played by Carl Weathers. I was trying to remember that. Yeah, Carl. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers plays Apollo Creed. And he's just like, which, Brent, you've watched a lot of Muhammad Ali mm-hmm. stuff. Um, they did a really good job at, like, portraying him as, you know, uh, the Ali, you know, the greatest, you know. Yeah, he and talks a lot of shit. He's, ta- he's talking shit and he's dancing around in the ring. Yep. And, you know, he's he's basically beat everybody that he, he's come, you know, that, that's come and gone. Yep. I mean, I, I was just, they, they did a really good job at, at, at portraying him as, you know, all like, I'm the greatest. Look at me, look at me, look, you know, look yeah. at this. And, 
and that continues through the through the whole thing and it's yeah. uh, through the whole series of movies uh which it eventually gets him killed though yeah his his whole pride in i'm the greatest but now you know it's kind of like when all he got beat yeah. you know it was like oh well how did that happen yeah because he's the greatest ever um but so Apollo Creed, which is basically Muhammad Ali's yeah. you know, representation of it, uh, he decides to give a local boxer a shot, and the only reason he gives him a shot is because Rocky's ring nickname, yeah. which is the Italian Stallion. Um, you know, and, and he gives a really weird reason for it in the movie. He says he's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Christopher Columbus was Italian. He discovered America. I'm, I'm sitting there like, why? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? So it was really weird. But he's like, so the you know, uh, I'm giving an Italian a shot on America's birthday. Yeah. Some shit like that. And then uh, his trainer says, oh, he's a southpaw. You don't want to fight him. Yeah. You know. So then cut to Rocky taking Adrian on a date. Uh. To an ice rink. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's like, hey, oh, uh, you know, and then the guy's there uh, on the Zamboni going around the ice. <laughs> uh, and, and uh, you know, the place is closed, but Rocky convinces him to, uh, to open it up for like five minutes or two minutes or something. <laughs> yeah. And, and they're, they're going around and, you know, that's, they really bond there on the, yeah. the ice or whatever. But then that's when he goes back to the apartment and gets kind of rapey with it. Yeah. That, so, that's really hard to watch. But back in 1976, I, I guess that's just kind of the times. I, I don't know. But yeah, I, the, the, the big thing. So then, you know, the, this whole story goes through. And then so finally we get and Rocky starts training with Mickey. They have a big fight because, you know, Mickey kind of abandoned him. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they, they come back together. And, you know, this training sequence is just one of the, the most influential, uh, parts of, of movies, you know, to come. Cause it's a training montage. Yeah. <laughs> um, which, you know, he chases a chicken and all that. Well, I don't know if he chased the chicken in the first one, but, uh, and he's punching meat and, you know, all that stuff. Does he, cause it, isn't it the first one? Remember, it might be the second one. I don't want to chase a chicken. I don't want to chase a chicken, Mick. I don't want to chase a chicken. It's ridiculous. Was, before that, was that before or after the the press conference? I think that was after because... Because okay, at the press conference, you yeah. know, they're, they're, they're sitting there at the press conference and, you know, Apollo's insulting him left and right. Yeah. And then, and then they're like... Uh, you know, Rocky got anything to say? He's, like, yeah, he's a great fighter. He's, 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 <laughs> he's a great fighter. Because when they call him, when they call him and tell him, you know, that he's on fight, he thought that he just wanted a sparring partner. Right? And yeah. He, he was, shows up and he says, yeah. "Oh, you know, I I won't take any cheap shots, nothing like that." Yeah, yeah that's uh, right. Yeah, uh, he was right. he was just uh, he thought he he thought that was the greatest thing that they were thinking of him to as a sparring partner. Yeah. So. And then they give a nobody a, a title shot yeah. that they they didn't realize you know it, it, how you know how big a heart he had when, right yeah. and that was the thing so you know he he you know it was an iconic shot he gets up at four in the morning he drinks the the eggs the raw eggs he goes running miles uh, there's of course there's uh, just just iconic stuff from movies oh. he runs to the top of the steps in philadelphia where they eventually have a, 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 a statue of yeah. him there and you know just all this this iconic shots and you know it's um i think everybody knows just you know the steps in philadelphia oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, you know the, the rocky statue the you know stuff like that um so then then he's ready for, uh, you know, the fight, basically, you know, uh, which, you know, we're probably skipping a lot of stuff, but we got to get yeah. through all these movies. So yeah, it's, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a, a little bit of a ride, but, um, the night before the fight is a big moment for him. You know, he, he, Adrian is staying at his place now. They're together. 
He gets up in the middle of the night and he goes down to the venue where they're going to be boxing, which is the, I forget, the, I forget where it was in Philadelphia. Um, but, you know, he goes down there and they, he looks up and he sees, um, there's my phone ringing. He looks up and, uh, he, he sees the, the, the picture of him. There are these big banner pictures and, um, he, he sees, he sees that, that they got his trunks wrong. <laughs> so then the promoter comes up and he's like, "Hi, oh, you're going to do great. Blah, blah, blah. You know? And he's like, you got my trunks wrong. <laughs> you know? And he, he's like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. So funny thing about the, the trunks being wrong is that actually happened. They were supposed, it was supposed to be correct. And they went and had these signs made, like the people that made the movie went and had these signs made. And they got it wrong. They just <laughs> messed it up. So they left it there as like a, you know, disrespect for Rocky. Um, so then he goes back and tell and talks to Adrian, you know, in the middle of the night. And he just says he wants to go the distance. Yep. That's his main goal. And the whole thing is to just hang around, um, hang with the, you know, the greatest, um, it, it, which it's, you know, the whole thing's kind of based on a true story, right? Uh, it is. Know. Except it was a big, I can't, it, 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 it didn't happen. Of course it didn't happen that way at all. Right. Yeah. All he got in the ring with, I can't remember the guy's name. I can't even. But he that. beat that guy with an inch of his life. <laughs> like they, they, the guy almost died. Yeah, that's like, true. He, it, uh, but all he, I'm thinking this was the same one. I might be getting them mixed up, but all he was in the ring with, this one guy and he he was talking the whole time you know, the week before yeah all this and that guy was disrespecting Ali, so Ali would make sure he made to the next round, right? Now, like I said, I might be getting them mixed up. This might be a different, but uh, but yeah, it yeah, I mean you know, so that's that's kind of the the true story of it wasn't exactly that not the happy exactly ending. going the distance. Yeah, <laughs> you know? so um. But, you know, so, but that's, so that's a big theme in the movie and we get to the fight and I don't know about you Pickens, but there's nobody that can get punched in the face that damn much. No, no, no. He, the, I don't know how they didn't stop the fight. Yeah. Like it, it was that bad. And then it, it just keeps, you know, uh, of course the round count is, is six, seven, you know. Yeah. And you know, he's just getting jabbed in the face. Yes. Jab, 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 jab. And that would just knock anybody out. Yes. You know, uh, and Apollo's just kind of cocky about it, carrying him through these rounds. And then you start seeing the rounds go up and up and, and, you know, was it around 10 or 11, 10 or 11? He, um, it, yeah, you know, and he's so he's he's pretty close to going the distance. Such as old fights, what are they? Fifteen? Rounds? I think it's fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Um, rounds. Yeah, now now boxing is, is twelve rounds. Yep. Uh, but in the old days, it was fifteen. Um, so, you know, you get to the end, and and they're both just beat all to hell. <laughs> yeah. You know? And uh, Rocky's eyes swollen shut. Yep. And so they pull an illegal move. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that his eye is swelled shut, so they just cut his eyelid. So his cut the Mick. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. It's another <laughs> iconic movie quote. Cut me, Mick. You know. Um. So, you know, just great stuff. And then, so then, you know, they fight. And Rocky loses in the end. No, but the way he lo- it, it it's it's uh, it, it's it's worth it. I mean yeah. it. So, you know, but he loses. And so this is the big thing. Action stars up to this point have always won. Yeah. You know, up to, you know, 1976. They, uh, the good guy always wins. Right. You know, and this is really the first movie where they didn't, which was just genius on Stallone's part. Yeah. You know, uh, him writing the movie. Yeah, especially him writing it. And, you know, he, because uh, I, I know anybody, you know, it, it, if if you're putting yourself in the movie, yep. who's gonna write themselves as losing? You know, yep. Yep. And, and that that's just genius writing from his part. Yes, uh, 
that made you know that made leading up to two so much better. Yeah, because you yeah. know he. Which I don't know if he knew there was going to be a two, but yeah. you know there, there wasn't at that point. But the movie, right. the movie's so successful, it wins Best Picture at the Oscars, which is unheard of for like an action type movie. But yeah. it's not really an action movie; it's more of like a drama. Yeah, you know, which that's what separates it from the rest of them. Yeah, is for to me that's why it puts it on top because it's an actual drama and not just like a over the top eighties movie. Yeah, you know. Um. So then, you know, I probably won't talk as much about Rocky 2 and Rocky 3. Yeah. Um, Rocky 2 is kind of just like Rocky 1 and Rocky 2. You can just watch them together and it's like a one movie. Yeah. It's like it just basically takes place right after that one. You know, yeah. They're getting out of the hospital, you know, and then, you know, all the. You thought it would make Apollo a little bit more. Uh, you know, there wasn't going to be another fight. Well, because at the at the end of the first movie, he's like, there's not going to be no rematch, yeah. you know, and then you see that. It's scared, yeah, because he didn't, you know, no one no one expected Rocky to make, take it, take the, the champion of the world to the distance, you yeah. know, and it just showed, you know, it showed his heart, and, and, and I think that ate, that, and that really ate Apollo up. Yep. Because somebody off the street that, that is struggling, that, uh, you know that that took him the distance because yeah. who who knows when the last actual hungry competitor right he, you know he fought you know right. so I don't know two two was a uh, two was a really good one and, it's a good one. it's a competent sequel yeah it's not the best of them and I'm the I know we're not gonna talk about it a whole lot but one of my favorite parts of the movie was when Adrian's pregnant mm-hmm. you know she's they, the Rocky and Mickey's in, in the hospital. Mickey's like, we gotta go train. We gotta do this. Rocky's like, no. He's like, I'm staying with Adrian. Yeah. Because they don't know if she's gonna die, if they're gonna lose the baby. So he sits there. She has the baby. She's in a coma. You know, so Rocky's reading to her every night, you know, doing yeah. this. And she, you know, she comes, she, she wakes up and, you know, Mickey, Mickey's sitting there and she, she she's like, uh, you know, Whisp, uh, pulls Rocky in and and was like Rocky win, and then and then the 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 the, the music starts and then Mickey's like, what are yeah. we waiting for, Rock? <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> and, and you know then accuse the montage and so that, then you know the another another montage yeah. that's great. There's chasing chickens and all that stuff. Um, yeah. So what one thing about uh, to go back a little bit before that, just just to talk about highlights of the movie for me so um when rocky proposes to adrian he just got out of the hospital and he goes to the zoo Zoo, and it's funny that he goes to the zoo because in the first movie gazo's driver says uh you know take her to the zoo uh retards love the zoo or whatever right so then rocky kind of flips that on its head and says okay well i will take her to the zoo and i'm going to propose to her you know so um and he does it in the most ridiculous way possible. <laughs> He's like, uh, one of you wouldn't mind marrying me too much. <laughs> and uh, she's like, what? And he said, if you wouldn't mind marrying me too much. <laughs> and uh, so when I propose to my wife, uh, since my name is Rocky, I was, I was, go- I thought of, I seriously considered. Going to the zoo. You shut up. <laughs> in front of the tiger cage. <laughs> and saying, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind marrying me too much. <laughs> you know. Uh, which she probably would have loved. She probably yeah. would have liked it better than the way I did it. <laughs> uh, but um, just a funny part of that movie for me. Because I, I thought about, you know, recreating that scene with the tiger and stuff. Um so then he gets back in with Apollo and wins this time. So now he's the champion of the world, right? Yep. Everything's going great. Cut to Rocky three. Yep. He's the champion of the world. Everything's going awesome. He has this ridiculous wrestling match with Hulk Hogan <laughs> at the beginning of the movie for yeah. charity. Thunder, th- thunder Th- lips, thunder, right? lips, thunder lips, thunder lips, Hulk Hogan and uh, Hulk Hogan damn near kills him. <laughs> He has a Roy Rage job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, damn near kills him. And then, uh, so, 
Which is just a hilarious scene. It is. It's... Which we're we're long time wrestling fans. Oh yeah, long you know. time. But Hulk Hogan is is obviously legendary. Um, especially like the you know was it, it was WrestleMania three right where he uh, yeah he, uh, I'm pretty su- sure suplex Andre yeah yeah so um so yeah uh, Hulk Hogan in the movie for just a ridiculous part Rocky's <laughs> running around Mickey's screaming yeah. for some reason like it's a real fight you know he's trying to get he's like take these gloves off me you know yeah and he he gets he. he uh, Hulk Hogan picks him up and throws him into the crowd, oh, crap. out of the ring. Mosh pit. It's a, yeah, like a mosh pit. It's, it's ridiculous. It is. And, uh, well, my wife just walked in there. She's, you might hear her clicking her heels on the, on the wood floor there uh, in, in the background. But um, there, there, there you is. go. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, Rock, Rocky three. Then you know he goes and he's he's fighting these chumps. Mickey's been setting him up for for to fight all these chumps, you know. And he's okay. champion of the world. He's had like ten title defenses. There's a little montage there where he's knocking a bunch of people yeah. out and stuff. So then he's at a press conference to 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 uh, for his new statue yep. at the top of the stairs from the first movie. And Clubber Lang, played by Mister T, shows up. And he played up. He played the part good. He did. He really did. Cause he he shows up. He's like, "Hey, woman. <laughs> hey, woman. Why don't show? Why don't, why don't you let me show you what what's like to be with a real man?" And you know, <laughs> so then Rocky's about ready to have a fight with him right there. Um, and you know, so he he agrees to the fight in public, right? Rocky agrees to the fight in public. Uh, so. Uh, so yeah, you know, and, and so then Mickey gets really scared about it. You yeah, because you know Mickey, and, and Mickey, you know, has been hot, you know, been kind of setting him up because he tell you know that they have they have fallen out a little bit over why you know he's he's like, well you you know, you don't believe I can do this and you know Mickey's like well you haven't been hungry in a long time Rock yeah and you know and so Mickey's really scared because you know he yeah. don't think. Well, Rocky, Rocky a, doesn't know that he has been setting him no. up with all these cake fighters, no. you know. Uh, so Rocky gets a little mad about that, that he's been, you know, Mickey's just been setting him up for the easy life, which it's, that's Mickey's job, you know. Yeah. That's Mickey's job. Yeah, Mickey's trying to keep him to the top as long as he can. You right. Know? That, that, and, you know, it's, it, and Mickey's really scared because Clubber, you know, he, he's real hungry. He's a young guy and, you know, he... He has something, in, and Rocky has everything to lose now. Yep, he's champ of the world now. Yep. You know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, and he 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 says, you know, you, you can't win. You can't win, Rocky. You know that um, this, this guy's got the eye of the tiger. You know. So, um, we we go to the fight. Before the fight, Mickey's not feeling too good. No. You know, he's, and he he's kind of like his chest is his hurting is. His, his heart's given out basically. Yep. Um, so, you know, right before the fight, right before Rocky's got to go out, you know, it, it's like Mickey's not doing too good. And I don't think Mickey even goes they out. Go out. He doesn't yeah, he go stays out. In the back. Stays in the back. So then Rocky goes out and he's distracted by all this stuff, you know, yep. and um, he's distracted by all this stuff. And then he, um, he he goes out and he, he's thinking about this stuff in his defense when he's fighting Clubber Lang. Yeah, and Clubber Lang just comes out and murders the crap out of Rocky. Yeah, and you can hear the wind coming off, the air coming off his punches. Yeah, uh, he and he's like, huh, huh. <laughs> yeah, he and you know Rocky he goes down. Yep, and then and then after the fight, you know he's going back to the the room, you know checking on Mickey. And Mickey asking, he's like, "How'd we do?" And he's, like, he's like, "Good." You know, yeah, and he lies. Yeah. He lies to. He lies to him because he knows it, it. You know, Mickey's gone. Yeah, and then you know, that was. Yeah, and then so then Mickey, you know, Mickey dies right there. Uh, if the you table. didn't shed a tear on that in that part, then if you didn't I don't shed a tear, then Mickey. yeah, you're not shedding tears. Um, but uh, so then you know, Stallone crying. Stallone, it's just it's pretty, not good. It's not a pretty it's not sight. good. 
you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's, if, it's, watch the end of First Blood if you want to see a, a crying Stallone scene. Which one was he on the the, the the M60 crying as he's shooting? Was that the one? I don't know if he ever cried and shot the M60. Maybe he was just yelling. Maybe he was yelling. He was yelling when he shot the M60. That's what that it was. was. That was part two when he yelled and oh, he, was... he shot he shot up all the computers. In the, yeah. 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 We'll probably do, we'll, we'll do a Rambo series oh, review yeah. too. Um, but, you know, so Mickey passes away and then Rocky doesn't know what he's going to do. But he knows he wants to fight Clubber Lang again, Mr. T. Um, so he reaches out to the only person that he knows to reach out to, which is Apollo Creed. Yep. So then he goes to L.A. out to Apollo Creed's gym. And uh, this is where we get another training montage there. And th that's where you first hear Eye of the Tiger. Yep. Which is just one of the best songs of all time. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. By uh, Survivor. Um, so, you know, Rocky goes, trains with Apollo. Um, it, it's kind of, the, so, you know, the end of the movie is kind of predictable. So he goes, he trains with Apollo and, uh, he, he trains with Apollo and he gets ready to fight Clubber Lang and he wins this time. Yep. So, and he, and that was his. That was his whole goal was to go in and take him and, and take out Clubber. Yeah. And I think he he took him out in like the third round. Right? Yeah. I mean, he, was, he puts him away quick. That's one thing that isn't expected. How how yeah. quickly he puts away uh, Clubber Lang. But so, um, that Clubber he gets ga he, uh, he gas he gets in gas because he keeps dodging. Yeah. He, he, he dodges and he he dodges him because Apollo is so. Apollo you know, actually sh t taught him that he needed to be quick to be quick yeah and he actually trained him like a black fighter you know right and that's what because uh stallone was uh, he was a flat-footed fighter yeah you know, he yeah it was kind of like a uh he boxed a lot like uh marciano marciano did yeah you know he scooted toward him you know and just and yeah. just punched yeah know, so it, or it just got punched <laughs> yeah he just scooted towards apollo and got punched yeah um but you know, so but he does. He beats Clubber, and the movie's over. And then the end of the movie, Rocky and Apollo go into the gym. This is one of the most memorable like moments in throughout the whole Rocky series. Yep, it's yeah, and, and there's the it's a dark gym. Both of them's in. You know, they're in the quarter, you know, and he takes his mouthpiece all out, doesn't he? He's uh, yeah, he's like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you will ring the bell, <laughs> and he's like, uh, and he goes, ding, ding. ding. Apollo <laughs> says, ding, ding, and he put he can't see that what I'm doing right now, yeah. but he he flexes his wrist yep. with, with the glove. He's like, ding, ding. Uh, he puts his mouthpiece back in, puts the it, mouthpiece back in, and then it freeze frames. Yeah, they, they go in to punch each other, and it freeze frames. It freeze frames uh, right. Right yep. when they're getting ready to punch each other, and that's the end of the movie. Yep. And they never, uh, and and it's never discussed. Yeah, you know, they never talk about who won. It's just, I don't know. It, yeah, they never knew who won. And and actually, in Creed, Adonis asks him, "Yeah, who who, who won that?" Yeah. He's like, "I heard you and uh, Creed once fought behind closed doors." Yeah, uh, you know, and, and then he 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 asks him who won. I don't think he tells him. I don't think he does. Yeah, um, but. Well, because he's real, uh, uh, he's real secretive about it. He, yeah. Uh, doesn't, doesn't he say like like, uh, well, who do you think won or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, he just yeah. Uh, he puts the question back on him with another question. Yeah. Uh, um. So then, you know, Rocky and Creed are, are friends at this point. So yeah. one and two, they weren't. Right. He, uh, Rocky earned his respect in 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 Rocky two, and then uh, trains him in Rocky three. Uh. So. Then we go to Rocky Four, where they're both friends, and they're both living the high life at this point. Yeah. There's even a damn robot at Rocky's birthday party, yeah. which is the most ridiculous thing <laughs> of all time. Um. Then you know, so they're they're living the high life in their mansion. Yeah. Then we see that this Russian has come over. Uh, really scary. He's not. He's killing people. You know, yeah. uh, in the ring, and, and, and uh, Apollo sees him on TV, right? Yeah, yeah, and then he decides he's going to fight this Russian guy, 
Yeah, because he's you know he has he's been out of the game a while and he still has you know he still has that drive to uh, for some reason to want to go back. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why he picked Drago to go but get back. In the I don't know why he would either because it's this damn seven foot tall. I don't see how Rush. they're in the same weight class. I, I don't either. He seems like a super heavyweight. He's like seven foot and he's. Like looks like he's chiseled out of uh, like granite. Yeah, I mean, and he, Carl Weathers is like five eleven. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and Carl Weathers is in shape, but he he has nothing on Drago. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dolph Lundgren who plays Drago. Um, so then you know Apollo decides he's going to fight him. Yeah. Rocky advises against it. He says you've been out of the game a little too long. You um you know you can't. He kind of pulls a Mickey on him. He does. Yeah, you know you can't beat this guy. He's uh he you know he's he's too good so um so then but Apollo's like no I you know I got to do this for me you know to prove that I'm still good still right? got it yep so then they have the fight and Apollo uh before the fight there's this whole uh, James Brown is out there there's this big production it's, it's a big showman I mean uh, big showmanship because. Uh, yeah, there's music play. Like you said, James Brown's out there. He comes out on the boat like George Washington yeah, crossing the, the Delaware. Boat. He has the, the, the American flag shorts. Which he always has the American yeah. flag shorts, but he's also got a top hat. He has the top hat, yeah. Like Uncle Sam yep. or something. And then proceeds to go out there yep. and get destroyed by Avid Drago. Well, before, the, before he gets destroyed, though, he... He hits him with a, you know, he's jabbing him a little bit, dancing around the ring, kind of yep. like they're doing the whole Ali show. Yep. Well, then he turns around and starts celebrating. He's jumping up and down with his arms up. And then, and then he, then he gets destroyed. He. <laughs> yeah, then he gets destroyed. <laughs> so the fight's going bad. The fight went bad for him. His wife is ringside. Yep. She's freaking out. His trainer is freaking out, who is now the you know trained Rocky as well. Yep. His trainer's freaking out, and uh, you know his trainer's like throw the damn towel, <laughs> and and Rocky's standing there with the towel in his hand, yep. right, getting ready to throw it, but he can never, he he can't get up, you know he, he's he remembers Apollo told him don't throw the towel, yep. whatever you do, don't stop this fight. Apollo said that between rounds yep. because. He comes out in the first round. The Russian doesn't know what to do with him. Apollo kind of dominates the first yeah. round, um, you know. And then, so then you see one last punch from the Russian, and uh, Apollo hits the mat dead. Yep. Uh, so th this is you know this obviously kills Rocky, and it's still a, a theme through Creed and Creed yeah. Two that he didn't throw in the towel and save his best friend's life, basically. Um, so then, you know, this, so this pisses Rocky off. He decides to fight the Russian. But before that, before that, before that, they you know, they have an interview with Drago, you know, and and you know, they're asking right after the fight, yeah. right after the fight, asking him, you know, if he feels bad and all this. And the only thing he says, if he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. And to me, that's that's another memorable moment because. Uh, I mean, we joke, we joke around at work. This said all the time, you know, and it, it's just one of those. Yeah, it, it's one of those that just sticks out, you know. Yeah, that's like, just like we say this that series, all the time. So many, there's so many moments like that. Yeah, you know, that just, and that's why we're kind of just going through these moments of the, you know, the movie and stuff. But they're all so good. That yeah. it's, it's hard to, you know, put it into like an hour, an hour and a half it, show. It really is because you could talk an hour about each, each about movie. each movie. Yeah, easy, I mean, easy. Um, so yeah, so there's the if he dies, he dies thing, which I think he's already dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think he's already dead at that point. So then Rocky decides, you know, he's going to he's gonna fight this guy. You don't know where, and then you find out in a press conference that the fight is going to be in Russia. Yeah, because Rocky agreed. He didn't care where the fight took place, when, and he finds out it's going to be in Russia on Christmas. Wasn't That's it? right. Yeah. That's right, yep. It, it's it, so uh, everybody's appalled at this press conference. You know, uh, Brigitte Brigitte Nielsen is there as, as Dolph Lundgren's wife, also a tall blonde. Yep. Um, so then, you know, Rocky 
uh, gets his crew together, which is Apollo's trainer, um, Pauly, yep. and they go to Russia, right? And and Rocky has has decided he's going to stay out in the middle of nowhere in this cabin, yep. right? And so this is the training montage for this movie. Yes. Well, what's cool about this one is you got two training montages. Yes. Right on top of each other. And it's it's to me it's crazy how different they are. Yeah. You know, Rocky. You know, even uh, uh, Apollo's trainer that's that's there. Yeah. He before he starts training, he's like, I'm I'm here. I'll help, however, but you, I, I know you, you, you have to do this on your own. Yep. And he's, you know, he, he he's climbing, you know, he, he's doing setups in the, in the, the top of the, the, the barn. Yeah. And the guy's he's, like chopping him. Yeah. Uh, he, he's doing, uh, he's hitting a, you know, a, a like sledgehammer a, off a big tractor tire. Yeah. He, he, uh, he carries a log on his back. A log. He's running, snow. he's running in the snow on t- the top of this mountain. Well, so that's, that's the coolest part though. Yeah. Is, so the KGB is following him around the, yep. the Russian spies or whatever, and they're following him around in a car and he, he goes for a run and it's the, the end of the training montage yeah. and he goes for a run outside and he loses the KGB cause he's running so hard yep. cause he's so badass cause he's, <laughs> he's Rocky. Um, and then he gets to the top of the mountain, and what, what does he do, Brent? He says, "Drago!" Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He just he yells his name, Drago, <laughs> which is just a hilarious part of the movie. It is. Uh, so then, uh, intercut with that training montage of all this cool stuff is. Rocky's doing everything the natural way, yep. which is hilarious because Stallone is so steroided out in this <laughs> yes. movie; it's ridiculous. You do not get that cut. There, he's he has he looks like Lex Luger in the nineties, like he has like two percent body fat. It's that, ridiculous. That's how roided out he is. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody that 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 chiseled like at like what was he five. Eight five nine yeah, yeah slow slow is like five eight which makes maybe maybe uh, Dolph Lundgren's actually like six foot tall maybe but the, the size it, difference was ridiculous the size difference is ridiculous uh, but you see the, the Russian he's getting these steroid injections yeah they, they keep shooting him up and he he's doing that that weird uh, uh, arm it's dumbbells but he he twists his, when he, when he raises up, he twists left yeah, and right. Yeah, and it's everything he trains is in a machine. Yes. So you've got this, like, they're trying to set up in a very cheesy 80s way that he's a machine. Yes. And he, everything he trains on is a machine, and, and uh, he can't be beat, and, yep. you know, everything. And he's a robot. He's basically, a, he's a robot. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and the tra- the music in the training montage is just as good as anything else. Yeah, is. it's 80s, and it is great. It is you the know? most 80s movie soundtrack that has ever been, you know, made. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's just awesome. So, uh, you know, then, so after he yells, Drago! Uh, that's when we, we get to the fight. Yep. So, um, he goes in, and so... This is what the the fight starts, right? And obviously the whole crowd's against Rocky because yep. he he's the American in Russia, and um, you know the whole the whole crowd's against him. And first round comes out and he's fighting just like he did in Rocky one and two against Apollo. Yep, he's just getting punched in the face twelve thousand times. Yeah, my problem with that was it took one punch and it killed Apollo. It killed him. And he he took so many punches from Drago, which in Rocky Five they try to say that gave him brain damage or whatever. Yeah. Um. But you know he just he took so many punches, and then he won over the crowd throughout the fight because he's taken so many punches and taken so many which, punches. Okay, uh, the, the, this is one of the other kind of things I have I have an issue with with the whole thing was. It's hard for me to believe he won over a nation just because he took some punches. Yeah, but, he, you know, I mean, it was a display of courage. I mean, it was. He, won, he stopped the Cold War. He uh, didn't just win over a nation. I, I know. That's, that's what I'm he saying. He stopped the Cold War. That's, 
I mean, I believe it 100%. Plus, plus Apollo, I mean, the trainer did pull out the the American flag shorts in that one. So American maybe, flag, maybe, that's right. He's got the American so, flag shorts I mean, going. Maybe that's maybe that's what did it's it. It's the power. Yeah. He won him over. But, so then, you know, about halfway through the fight, Rocky starts uh, punching back because yeah. he's getting murdered in the first few rounds. And then, so he finally, he cuts the Russian. Yep. And that's another iconic it's like the russian is cut yeah he's and, he, he is human you know he, yeah but you know a, a lot of people say that at, just at you know any about anything the russian is cut yeah you know if like somebody's doing really well at a video game and then they junk it yeah the russian is cut you know yeah. so uh, just iconic phrases and and that's that's the real theme in all this is these movies are just interwoven in in yeah. pop culture you know it, it's just it's just synonymous with action movies and eighties cheese, but also just a bunch of sayings that stick around till today, you know, yep. with a lot of people. Uh, so he beats the Russian. Yep. Knocks him knocks him down in the last round, of course. And he has a speech after He does. Which the yep. you know, which is the if I could change and you could change. Everybody could change. So, you know, that's, so that's the end of it. And then it actually ends in the ring, like the other movies, with he's holding the American flag. And my my DVD box set here, the, the, the ends of the DVDs come together to form the picture of Rocky holding the American flag in Rocky IV, uh, triumphant in victory. He, 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 he ended the Cold War single-handedly, is what happened there. Um. So then we we've got two movies left to talk about yep. in the whole series because we already talked about Creed. Yep. Um, and it's Rocky Five, and we're only we're only going to talk about two parts of Rocky Five. Yeah, yeah, because Rocky Five, Rocky was trying to live through Tommy Gun. Yep. I mean, he gave he, he he moved this guy in, and he neglected and, his son. And, uh, he kicked his son out and gave gave Tommy Gunn his room. Yeah. And then, of course, he turns his back. He he basically turns his back on Rocky. He goes with a big promoter because Rocky is protecting him, trying to ease him into it. Yeah. The way Mickey did him, and he goes with a. Uh... What's his name type character? Oh, uh, Don King. Don King. Yeah, Don this guy King. looks just like Don King. Yeah. yeah, they didn't even try with this. No, one. no. Like Apollo looks a little different from Muhammad Ali. This guy even has the same hair as Don King. Yep. It might be Don King. I it, don't even know. It might be. I don't know. But you know, Tommy Gunn, he breaks off from him. He wins a championship. He wins. He wins the world title. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of, one of my favorite parts of the movie is when they're interviewing him. They're interviewing him, and uh, he's like, "I know, you know." They're like, "Because uh, he didn't even thank Rocky for yeah, anything he did." Yeah, that's all Rocky's wanting was a thanks, right? And you know, he's like, "I'm not Rocky's clone, this and that." And he he had the title. I guess he did what a couple title defenses. Yeah, a couple. And I they're guess, like, yeah. you know, you're a paper champion. You haven't fought anybody since you won it. This and that. Yeah. And and the 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 one of the the guys questioned him. He, he's like. Well, why don't you fight the fight the blonde or the redhead in the front row? She, I heard she puts up a real good fight. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> and, but yeah, so you know, it's an older Rocky who has brain damage from Rocky IV, taking a fighter under his wing, neglecting his son who's getting beat up at school. Yeah. Um. So there, there's two scenes that we like in this movie. Yes. Two scenes. One of them is Rocky gets sad about Tommy Gunn leaving him, and he goes back to the old gym. Uh, where, you know, it was Mickey's gym. Yep. And he goes in there and he sees Mickey in the middle of the ring. It's like this ghost vision that he has. And, you know, Mick, he talks to Mickey a little bit. Um, and Mickey has one of the best lines that me and my dad repeat constantly is, Get up, you son of a bitch. Mickey loves you. If that don't give you chills, you're a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's a, <laughs> if that doesn't you know, give you goosebumps, then get up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, but, uh, so that's a great scene. It, yes. I cry every fucking oh, time. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. No. It, which, you know, it, it, that's right. I admit, I cried at Rocky Five. Uh, yeah. One of the worst movies ever made by a lot of people, a lot of people say. Oh, uh, I agree. I With think there are redeeming qualities to it. But, 
I cried at it, man. If I catch it on, I watch, I'll make sure I watch the last 15, 20 minutes of it. Yeah, yeah. so that's the other part we're going to talk about. Yes. Is the last last, uh, last fight. So, it's they're at a bar. Yeah. Tommy Gunn, who's who's actually Tommy Morrison, yep. the boxer, real life boxer. Yeah. If you have not seen the Tommy Morrison Thirty for Thirty, go watch it. It's depressing as hell. Yeah, but go watch it. It's a great Thirty for Thirty on ESPN. Yeah, it what, really Tom, is. Tommy Morrison. Um, but there is there is the line of, you know, Tommy Morrison is fighting these guys in a bar. Oh, he he hits Polly. Yeah, he hits Paul because before. Rocky's out there, you know, he's depressed, so he went to the bar to, uh, him and Polly went to have a few drinks. Yeah, and then more, Tommy Morrison shows up with the Don King type yeah. character. See, and it's been so long since I watched yep. this. And so, um, they end up getting in a fight, and Tommy Gunn knocks down Polly. Yep. And then, one of the best Stallone lines from the whole oh, thing. It is. He knocked him down. Well, he tried to knock me down. And that's when... They get get in the fight. So there's a street bar brawl. They take it outside. There's a bar. There's a street fight in an alley between an aging Rocky with brain damage and uh, Tommy Gunn. Well, the Don King guy though, he he's 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 like uh, you know he's a street fighter. You know you're a prize fighter. You know and he's trying to set it up to where it's in the ring because that's where the money's going to be. Right. Right. And, you know, of course, Rocky, you know, does the iconic, you know, know, my ring's outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's another one. Yeah. My ring's right outside. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. Great, great line. Uh, So, you know, it's an exciting fight. You know, it's a street fight. I just just don't understand how, okay, in Rocky 2, Mickey comes up to Rocky and he's like, you can't see shit out of your left eye. And he smacks him in the head. Yep. Right? Can't see nothing. And yet somehow, or it's his right eye maybe. Whatever. Because he leaves with his right eye because he's a southpaw. Yeah. Um, and so they're saying he can't, he's too old. He can't fight. In Rocky 2. And then we're <laughs> going to talk about, like, 15 years later, yep. he's in a street fight with Tommy Gunn and beats the hell out of him. Yep. So that's a, it's all a little ridiculous. His son in the movie is a bitch. Yeah, uh, he's just uh, terrible. I hate that kid. Yep. Um. So then, Rocky Five basically ruins the franchise. Yeah, I mean, it, it's real sad too because he loses everything. Yeah, and yeah, Rocky loses everything in the, in it, and uh, of course the iconic fight at the end. It, it yeah. it's really good, and then you know, of course, it when he gets. Yeah, you know, he wins the first round. The second one, you know, uh, Morrison gets up and he kind of beats him up a little bit. Yeah, and I think Rocky goes down, and that's when Mick pops up. Yeah, you know, get up, again. you son of a bitch! Mickey loves you, and so he remembers it. Yep, and Rocky gets up and he throws his hand up. He's like, "One more round, one Just more, one round. more round." He's like, "I'm gonna put you through the concrete, through the pavement." That's what Morrison said. Yeah, there. and then you know. And then by not, by this time, there's a massive crowd around. Yeah. And then of course his son's like, you know, he, uh, uh, your mom, you know, uh, he's on he's on TV. Dad's fighting, you know. And, yeah. And they're watching, and I don't know. Like like I said, I I, I didn't care for the movie I, I, five. Yeah, but that but, part's good. But the it it has its moments. Yeah. You know, it has some pretty good parts in it. But everybody hated it. It yeah. bombed in the box office. And it basically like made it to where okay, there's there's going to be no more sequels, right? For years, and then Stallone gets into this mode where he's remaking all of his old movies. Yep. He's remaking Rambo. He comes out with another Rambo movie. Yep. Um, and so, but I think Rocky Balboa is first. So yeah, Stallone obviously can't count to six. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Rocky one through five. And then he calls it Rocky Balboa. And then we call one Creed. Yes. So he obviously cannot count past five. Yeah, five's the, the limit. But uh, Rocky Balboa, I don't remember much about it. Yeah, I mean, I remember he's going, it, it's kind of sad. Adrian's dead. Adrian has died. It, every year he goes with Polly to put uh, flowers, flowers on the grave. Flowers on the grave, yeah. And then Polly 
Paul is like, I can't rock. I can't do this anymore. And I don't remember a whole lot. I mean, I remember he fights Mason Dixon. I, I just, and, which is a ridiculous name because yeah. it's for the Mason Dixon line. And yeah. this guy is, um, you know, the Mason, Di- North and the Mason Dixon line was the North in the civil war. Yeah. And this, you know, it, it's a kind of a racism symbolism type thing. It, it's a terrible name. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think, so back in the day, they had these like computer generated fight yeah. things where you know they would and this was in real life they they had you know they would they would put Marciano against yeah. Ali or yeah. you know what whatever um, so that's kind of what happens in this movie there's they're saying oh well the greatest champ in the past is Rocky Balboa yeah. Mason Dixon w- wouldn't stand a chance in the ring with Balboa yeah you know so. And he's mad about it because it's on ESPN. Yeah, it's all show, they have Joe Tessitore on there yeah. talking about it, and yeah, how Rocky was the greatest champion ever. I mean, he he fought, and they talk about where he beat he beat Apollo, he beat he you know he Drago, Drago Clubber Lang, Clubber Lang. and uh, you know how the, this Mason Dixon line guy he hasn't really fought anybody. You yeah, know, it's been just basically paper champion. He's a paper champion. So. So then they set up the fight. And Rocky's old now. I mean... Rocky's old, and the, but the, the Mason Dixon guy comes up to him and kind of like, you know, guilts him into it, right? Because yeah. he's like, oh, well, you know, you can't fight, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I forget what he does to piss him off. I can't remember. But, I mean, he keeps coming at him because Rocky keeps telling him no. Yeah. Because I'm too old. I'm not doing... Which he is too old. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Stallone's 60. Yeah. Like, yeah, you should not be in the ring. Which is why I like the approach they took with Creed better because, yeah. you know, he's not fighting. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so he fights this guy and it basically ends exactly like the first one. Yeah, he breaks his hand or something, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, something like that. No, or may- maybe he makes, he makes maybe the Mason, Mason Dixon, Dixon breaks his hand. Breaks his hand, yeah, I think yeah. that happened. But um, it ends like the first one, but except in, instead of like Adrian running into Rocky's arms and, and that's at the end of the first movie we kind of skipped the most the yeah. really important part he's at the end he doesn't care he's yelling at the end of the first movie he's yelling Adrian Adrian he lost but he went the distance cares about he went the distance he and he cares distance. about Adrian right yeah. so instead of Adrian coming out and running into his and arms he, he's fighting Rocky just kind of moseys off maybe well, 30 even before they read the yep. results and this guy went yeah. out the, and he and, gets out and, of the ring and he's walking uh, away. Call, he kept calling Rocky out yeah. kept calling him and because he didn't, he, 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 his plan was to go out and, and just obliterate, obliterate Rocky. Right. And I mean, you think he'd know because of Rocky's heart, it's not going to let, he's not going to go out like, like, like that. Yep. Yep. But you know, overall it's a pretty good movie. I like it. Yeah. I, I like Rocky Balboa. Yeah. Um, I recommend sad. watching it. Yeah. It's has its moment. It's sad. You know, like I said, Adrian's Adrian's dead and all yeah. that. But I mean, you can kind of skip five, but yeah. I would actually recommend watching Rocky Balboa. Yeah. But if you don't watch Balboa, it's not a big deal. It's not a real integral part of the story because no. then we pick up in Creed. But see, I think Rock, the reason Stallone put this one out because he didn't really have say on five as much. Right. They wanted it that way. Right. So that was the reason he put... The, five or uh, Rocky Balboa out. Yeah. Cause that's the way he wanted to end. Yeah. He wanted to end it. And so. as far as he was concerned, that was it. Now I do. I remember them talking about Creed. Yeah. And he was, he was dead since, uh, dead set against making another one, but, but yeah, they yeah, brought was, that script to him. Yeah. He read it and you know, he fell in love with it. You know, and it, it was, changed it was, his mind. Uh, Ryan Coogler who directed the movie and wrote the script, um, which he, he just did, doing Creed allowed him to go do Black Panther. He just did the Black Panther movie for Marvel. Oh, really? Yeah, that was Ryan Coogler. He was a thing for uh, Michael, uh, Michael, Michael B. Jordan. Jordan yeah, him and Michael B. Jordan. I think they did another movie together before Creed too. But, wow. Um, I could be wrong there. I, I'm not sure of all of Ryan Coogler's movies, but they've all been good. Every one of Ryan Coogler's movies have been good, and, and Creed's no exception. It's it's really good. But So anyway, that's our uh, that's our overall kind of review of, of Rocky. We obviously love the series. Brent, kind of final thoughts on the just Rocky as a, as a series? It, I mean, it, it's just one of these stories that, that it just, 
I don't know. It it, it hits it hits home. Yeah. Because it's about you know somebody. You know, like you said earlier, at the very bottom, and they and they work, you know, work their ass off mm-hmm. to get where they are. And it's his and whole life. It, yeah, it's his whole life, and it's honestly of of like movie series. It, it's up at the top. It's my top three of of all time. Yeah, it's great. Just, it's it, a great series. And there's so many iconic moments in them. And uh, we you know we could sit here all day and talk about it. Yeah. And it, I I and. I just love them, you know, and and that's what we want to get from the you know this whole podcast is is it's talking about games and 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 the movies that we grew up on that that, that we fell in love with. Yep. And you know, I'm sure every, you know, a lot of people you know seen them, but they're uh, this new generation uh, they they don't know about the 80s. They they don't know about all the all the great movies and yeah, because yeah, all they're all they're looking at are the remakes. And then, uh, uh, that they're doing of, of, of stuff, and that that's what I I, I want to get out of this is, is people to to the especially the newer generation. Yep. Yeah, I want Trent and Hunter to, to grow up and and uh, the you know watching the the stuff I watch growing up. Yeah. You know? yeah. Those the, those they had lessons in them and and uh, there, there's just, no new stuff in Hollywood either. There's no. no new there's no new ideas. No. You know which Rocky. The Rocky thing is just a was a completely new, fresh idea yeah. that Stallone came up with to try to make it, and yeah. he did. You know, and that that's the thing that it's the American dream of, yeah. of Stallone mirroring Rocky's whole life. It's Stallone's whole life, you yeah. know, of him uh, making it big. You know, the, it, there's so many movies with Stallone, and you know, he's. Where he was so big in the eighties, nineties, uh, you know, he got up there with 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 Schwarzenegger. It was yeah. uh, Stallone and Schwarzenegger, the big, um, and and you just you don't have that anymore. No, you know, um, so yeah, that that I couldn't have said it better myself. So, at the final thing we'll we'll do here, we're gonna put them in order from uh, favorite to least favorite. So, um, I can go first here. So I've got uh, Rocky One hmm. is my favorite. I'm gonna put Rocky Four at two. Got to do it. Yep. Creed is at three for me. Kind of surprising. Um, then I've got probably Rocky Three yep. after Creed. Uh, then Rocky Two. Then Balboa. And then way down below those is Rocky Five. I, I mean, I, I <laughs> is that is that I, pretty I'm much agreed. your list? Too? I agree with that. I'm, I I do. Is that that, that so that is that just going to be the show's I think, ranking? I think so. I like yeah, uh, you know I, I so I can waffle back and forth f- for between Creed and Rocky Four, but since you know Brent kind of swayed me, Rocky Four is the better yeah. the better movie there. So. Um, Anyways, guys, that that's been our podcast review of the entire Rocky series. We ran a little long here, we did, uh, but you know it was worth it. We got to talk about Rocky, just movies we love, and that's what we're going to continue to do: yep. talk about games and movies we love. This has been the uh, Couch Thoughts podcast uh, for this week. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, just search for the Couch Thoughts podcast or at Couch Thoughts Pod. On Twitter at Couch Thought Pod, no S in there on Thought. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Um, we'll be. It'll be. I'll share the link on Facebook to the Podomatic listening site. Um, Podomatic is a little. Uh, they're having a little bit of trouble with iTunes right now. So if you listen on iTunes, uh, sorry, uh, but you probably the best way to listen to it. Still, they're still sor- sorting through the issues. The best uh, way to listen to it is probably going to be the Podomatic link that I uh, that I share on the Facebook. So, anyways, guys, we had a good time talking about these movies this week. We'll be back next week from the couch. Later. <laughs>